I'm somebody who has a late parent, whose parent is late, and uh, he wants to do sadaqa on their behalf. So what can he use to do sadaqa? Anything that is not haram can be used for sadaqa. He can give food, he can give uh, money, he can... So anything that is not haram can be used as what? As sadaqa. How this is plain. But now fixing it that, okay, this is uh, four months after the death of our parents, so let us, this is bid'ah, is bid'ah. So we're preparing food to give to people without uh, premising it on the number of days, months, the parent has died. So this, there is nothing wrong in it. But there is something that is better than that. Eh? That is what dua, for you to be supplicating for them. Anytime you remember them, supplicate. Huh? Make it easy on your tongue to be saying Allah Umma Kfirli the Walid, Allah Umma Kfirli Walidi, Allah Umma Kfirli Ummi, Allah Umma Rham Walidi, Allah Umma Rham Ummi. O oh Allah, forgive my father, forgive my mother, show mercy to my father, show mercy. Don't be stingy with this. This dua is better than whatever sadaqa you want to do. Because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam specifically recommended this. وَوَلَدٍ صَالِحٍ يَدْعُولَ A righteous child that is supplicating for the parent. So this is better than sadaqah. For as for the parents, uh, when they are still alive, they themselves should make effort to do sadaqah. Particularly if the sadaqah is what is a continuous one. Like the building of masajid, the digging of bowls, the building of house, for instance, to be uh, uh, the house to be occupied, maybe by widows, maybe by uh, poor people. These people they don't look at this angle. If you solve the problem, the accommodation problem of a, of a person, you have really what assisted that person that okay, this place be living in it throughout what your life then when you die eh, it goes back to what it comes back to the to the owner for instance so this is what is sadaqa then maybe another person will, will be living there after the death of that person so all this they will do in the past as what is called umra rukba that the type of sadaqa that people will do uh in the past that is during the time of the prophet of allah that who the Arabs would do before the coming of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Sadaqat in Jaria is something that is very, very important. Jabir bin Abdullah radiallahu anhu said, you hardly find a companion that did not do work for, eh? unless if he did not have the ability. But no companion that had the ability to do work for, except that he did work for. Work for is what Sadaqat Jaria. So to, to the extent that during that time, uh, a lot of things that the Ministry of Finance would do, so to say, uh, were done by the people. Uh, things that would benefit people in the society. This one has taken care of this, this one has taken care of this. So the poor people, they were living uh, without having any rank or hatred against the rich people because they are benefiting from their wealth. They were paying their zakat. They were also doing a lot of sadaqat that will make the poor people also have a good opinion of the rich people. So, Nas'alullah, Salamat wa al-Afiyah.